Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Unboxing and Stuff. Today we're going to be taking a look at the TrendNet 8 port gigabit green net switch. And this is an unmanaged switch that I got for a project I'd like to do here at my house to actually free up some more space on my router so I can actually have more connections in more rooms like for my TVs or PlayStation stuff like that. So just an example for what one of these switches does is if you have a router that looks something like this and all your ports are taken up, you can actually use this unmanaged switch to, on its own, free up and create actually a lot more uh, ports that you can access. So let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box. I will uh, show you what's inside and we'll talk a little bit about it, the features and whatnot, and then we'll actually do a little, uh, a little setup type test or something like that so that way you can actually see what it does in person so here we go we got the box pretty nice little box it's got a lot of information on it here go ahead and open it up so everything comes out in a little cardboard caddy here so we have a safety note page, a uh, quick installation guide which also has a uh, couple pictures of different things that you can connect up to it. Then we have a power cord, just regular 110 plug-in. We have some sticky feet for the bottom of the switch and then we have the actual switch itself and this is pretty small. Uh, these come in quite a few different sizes. Uh, this particular one is an eight port switch and it is not wall mountable uh, via holes, although you could use Velcro or something if you wanted to do that. Uh, there is another model that's similar to this one that is actually wall mountable uh, right out of the box, but I figured that this would work well for my needs. So let's go ahead and cover some of the features about this. So this switch is purely plug and play. All you have to do is plug something in. You don't actually have to go in and program ports or anything. Uh, all the ports are actually gigabit, so you can handle up to a gigabit speed. They're supposed to be energy efficient. This is actually supposed to shut down the ports that are not being used. So it's kind of a smart switch. So it's only using the actual amount of energy it needs. It needs. Uh, we have a metal housing. Um, there's, like I said, eight ports on here. It says you can save up to 70% of the energy with that uh, auto smart port. And that about covers the uh, little bit of information I do have on this thing. So, let's go ahead and take a look here at the quick installation guide. Okay, so I looked through their quick installation guide here and other than the picture on the front which uh, shows you where things can go potentially, it's pretty much useless. But it's such a simple switch that you don't really need much more. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to take our plug from our internet and we're just going to go ahead and plug that into port 1. Then we could take plug going to another device and we'll just plug that into port 2. Then we'll take our power cord here And we'll go ahead and plug this in. Okay, now I've got it plugged in. And we can see here we have a power LED illuminated. And then we have ports 1, which is our input from our internet. And then we have port 2, which is actually going to a secondary router at this point in time. And they're both illuminated, showing that they're actually working. 
And that's all it really takes to actually set up this switch. So, now what I want to try and do is see if I can go ahead and do a speed test through my original router and see what that comes up as. Then try and plug into the other router that is actually going through the switch and see what the speed test looks like there, if there's any change. Okay, so running through the original router without going through our switch, we are getting 162 megabits per second upload, or download, I'm sorry, with 8 megabits per second upload and 162 megabits per second download. So, download speed's not bad, but the upload speed where I live happens to be horrible. So, that is normal. So now, we're gonna go ahead and try and plug into uh, the new router and uh, see how that does. Okay, now we're plugged into the new router, so let's go ahead and try the speed test again and see how that works. Okay, so going through the switch and then into the new router, we're getting 162.75 megabits per second uh, on the download and then 7.89 megabits per second on the upload speed, which I think is pretty much just within uh, margin of error for something uh, like this uh, test website, the speed test. So uh, this is what I'm planning on using it for, although you could transfer data or uh, watch movies on some sort of a remote device. You know, I don't really think that you're gonna have any issues with the speed on this. You know, your file transfers, you'll probably see, uh, you know, some sort of a, uh, I don't know, that'd be where this thing would be taxed the most. But, you know, for something like I'm planning on using it for, which is essentially just to supply internet to uh, every room in the house, it gives me a lot more ports, so it frees up you know, three or four of the ports on each of the routers and then allows me to have, you know, seven additional ports total on, on here uh, so I can have, you know, whatever room those are in, the, the equipment can run through there. I don't have to run a single connection. And then uh, I can also have it running, t you know, at least one or two connections to each room. So I think it's going to be a pretty cool project. When I actually do it, I may or may not make a video. Let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see that. Uh, getting my house essentially wired up so that way I can have the, the actual solid network connection in every room. You know, Wi-Fi is great, but if you want something more reliable, cable is the way to go. And if you can do it, I'd say it's probably worth it. So, anyway, so that's just a little unboxing and quick preview of this uh, TrendNet switch. Um, you know, as you can see, the other ports are not illuminated on here. I think. Uh, that's pretty cool that you can get that power savings. Um, and I just unplug out of here, plug into another random port just to just to try out. And there we go. Now we can see ports one and six are illuminated. So, you know, I think it's pretty cool. They're fairly inexpensive, these unmanaged switch. They also have managed versions in the same size that are also uh, not very expensive. But I think for what I'm using it for, they're just not really much of a purpose unless you had a bandwidth hog or something like that and you needed to slow them down then a managed switch could be useful but right now I think this will work perfect for my needs uh, so far I think it's great so I'm gonna give it uh, a 9 out of 10 only because there's no way to hang it uh, with just some screws on the wall and for me I think that would be a cool feature to have I also obviously haven't tested it out that much to know, you know, if it's going to survive, if it'll last for a long-term setup. But, uh, you know, I can let you guys know down the road how it is working for me. But so far, I think it's cool. It's neat. It works right out of the box. And uh, if that's something you guys are interested in, then I'll put a link down below. Still currently not an affiliate with Amazon. If I am, I will annotate down there that I'm changing that link for that. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video if you liked it click the bell if you want to be notified of any future videos that i put out 
And uh, if you guys want to follow me over on uh, Twitter, uh, there's a link down below for that as well. You guys can always message me or ask me questions. Uh, I have a few videos that I'm really excited coming up here. Uh, some stuff to do with some trailers and even some stuff for vehicles uh, along the electronics route. And I'm looking forward to sharing that with you guys. So I think that about covers it for today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and we will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.